This segment of News 25 is brought to you by Valley Electric and its family of companies focused on serving our members. We're better together. All electric co-ops were created out of necessity. They were created to meet a need that would have otherwise been unmet in the community. Back in the day, our community didn't have electricity, even though cities did because it wasn't profitable to bring electricity out to farmers in rural areas. So a group of neighbors banded together and organized our electric co-op so everyone in the community could benefit. They worked together for the benefit of the whole community. These four early power companies, Amargosa Valley Electric Cooperative, Beatty Utility Company, Pahrump Utility Company, and White Mountain Electric Cooperative were consolidated in 1965 to form Valley Electric Association, Inc. While this history may be forgotten, key parts of that heritage remains, focusing on serving the greater good with a spirit of innovation and self-help. The innovation piece is a key driver for our cooperative. Since bringing electricity to our town decades ago, we've continued to adapt to the world around us and to the needs of our members and communities. These mission-oriented roots mean our co-op is always looking for the next way to meet the needs of the community. For example, we do this through Operation Roundup, Fill the Bucket, serving our members with volunteer hours and local partnerships with schools and businesses. All co-ops are constantly striving to anticipate and plan for the future needs of their members and the community. We remain mission focused on providing an essential service in the community to help it thrive. Our focus is not on making excess revenue and profits. It's on meeting the needs of our members and the community we serve. All co-ops adhere to the seven guiding principles that reflect core values of honesty, transparency, equity, inclusiveness, and service to the greater community good. The seven cooperative principles are voluntary membership, democratic control, member economic participation, autonomy and independence, education, training and information, cooperation among cooperatives, and lastly, concern for community. We are not just a utility, we are a co-op. We don't have customers, we have members.